What if I told you that somewhere in the universe, there's a black hole so big, so terrifying, that it could swallow entire galaxies and not even flinch? This isn't science fiction, this isn't mythology. It's real, it's called TON618. And it's the largest black hole ever observed by humankind. Located over 10.37 billion light years away, TON618 is not just massive, it's incomprehensible. Scientists estimate its mass to be 66 billion times the mass of the sun. That's not a typo, 66 billion. It sits at the center of a quasar, an ancient beacon of light powered by a monstrous gravitational abyss. And what it represents shakes the very foundations of what we thought we knew about physics, time, and reality itself. Ton 6. 1.8 isn't a newcomer. It existed when the universe was just 1.5 billion years old, only 10% of its current age. This means it formed and grew to godlike proportions almost immediately after the Big Bang. This single fact throws astronomers into existential chaos. How could something so big grow so fast? According to current models, black holes grow over time, slowly feeding on stars, gas and dust. But TON 618 violates that idea. Its size shouldn't be possible unless we're missing something fundamental. Maybe there were black holes formed before stars? Maybe it was born from a direct collapse of matter, skipping the usual stellar process. Or maybe, just maybe, there's a force at work that science hasn't yet discovered. Let's visualize it. If we replaced our sun with TON 618, its event horizon, but the point of no return, would stretch well beyond Pluto. Entire star systems would orbit inside it like dust in a wind tunnel. TON 618 could devour the Milky Way multiple times over. And yet, it sits in silence, invisible, unfeeling, patient. Its accretion disk, the swirling chaos of matter spiraling into its maw, emits a light brighter than 100 trillion suns. It outshines entire galaxies, and at its core is eternal darkness. Its gravitational pull is so strong that not even light escapes. That means we don't see TON618 directly. Instead, we observe its effects. The light from its accretion disk, the gravitational lensing, and the strange signals emanating from its surrounding space. This is not just an astronomical object. It is a cosmic event in slow motion. TON 618 doesn't just bend space, it bends logic. It challenges the Eddington limit, a rule that defines how fast a black hole can grow. If a black hole feeds too fast, its radiation should push matter away. But TON 618 defies this. It seems to have eaten faster than it should be allowed. It's like finding a toddler who weighs more than a tank. Something doesn't add up. Some scientists now believe TON618 might be a primordial black hole, a leftover from the earliest moments of creation. If that's true, it's older than stars, older than galaxies. It may have been here before light itself. There are also those who speculate that TON618 is part of a new class of hypermassive black holes which may require a rethink of Einstein's general relativity when pushed to extremes. It's not just a scientific puzzle, it's a cosmic paradox. Why does TON618 haunt us? Because it doesn't care. It doesn't care about life or light or time. It simply exists, a void so large it reminds us how small we truly are. Everything we've ever known, Earth, the Moon, the Sun, our dreams, our gods, could vanish inside it without leaving a trace. TON 618 is a cosmic reminder that we are not the center of the universe, and yet we found it. Tiny creatures on a tiny planet 
staring across billions of light years and uncovering a cosmic god. What else might be out there? It also triggers a deeper fear. What if our universe is not the final version of reality? What if there are others, bigger, older, governed by physics we can't even begin to imagine? Ton 6, 1 8, could be a remnant of those laws, a fingerprint from a time before our own cosmic story. Since then, imagine the this. Ton 6, 1 8 begins to change. Its light increases, its accretion disk glows hotter. It begins to consume at a faster rate. From our telescopes, scientists notice a flicker, then a flare, then a signal they can't explain. What if TON 618 is not static, but alive? What if it's growing faster and faster? In cosmic terms, 10 billion years ago might as well be now. We are only just seeing TON 618's light reach us. Whatever it's doing right now, this very instant, we won't know for another 10 billion years. Maybe it's coming, maybe it's waiting. Maybe it's proof that the universe is not just big, but aware. TON 618 is just the beginning. New telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, the Square Kilometre Array and future gravitational wave detectors may reveal more monsters like TON 618. And when they do, we might need to rewrite everything. Black holes are not just objects, they are portals to the unknown. They bend space, time and perhaps even consciousness. They are the places where the rules break down, where cause and effect dissolve where our universe ends or begins. TON 618 isn't just a black hole. It's a message, a boundary, a warning, and maybe a promise. That in the deepest darkness there is always more to discover.